Hi and welcome back. So uh, we did the main shape of the missile here and actually I did all the details which I had in my mind but I decided that maybe the missile deserve a bit more details all around. So uh, I was thinking uh, where to place more details. I was also thinking about the rare wings here. Uh, I decided to keep them until I figure out uh, so, uh, what to do with them or to do something better. Surely I was trying something but so far like this at most. So maybe in the future or in the next parts uh, when I will get some idea I will replace it uh, replace this with something else anyway to replace this it will take some I don't know 10 minutes maximum so uh, when I was thinking where to place the details uh, I figured out that I have some place here and here between the the back part and the front part of the missile between the middle part which will be divided into the smaller missiles which we'll do in the next parts or in the next part of this tutorial as I said at the beginning I will divide this into three parts uh, this is the first part the main missile then the second part will be this middle part and the last part will be texturing where we will create some nice textures in Photoshop and then apply to our model so uh, I will try to place some details here and here. Now uh, you don't have to follow this anyway. Uh, it will not affect anything. I mean, if you will skip this part, you can go straight to the next part because uh, I will not do anything which will, I don't know, make some difference. I just want to place a bit more details here because, as like I said, I think it deserves a bit more attention. So. Uh, I will start here with the back part here, with the joint part between the back back part and the middle part. I will create here a very simple detail, just using uh, the basic shapes which we uh, which we have here, and actually it will be just an inverse. So uh, what I will do, I will go to the left view, left view. I will zoom on that. Also, you can hide the reference picture. We don't need that. I will draw here just a cylinder. I don't know, small like this, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, so far, uh, let's go to the top view and we'll place it first here. Now, from the left view, we'll hit Alt X to the main shape. We'll try to position it here to the top. So, right here, I'll guess. Now we can go to the perspective view just to see if the position is right. Yeah, it is. So, I will hide this. So, somewhere here I will do just this. Now, it's a simple cylinder. Uh, doesn't mean anything, more or less. But, at the end, it will create uh, some kind of detail for an effect. Okay, all the X to this, if we don't interact with anything. Yes, we do, a bit. So, let's place it a bit down. Somewhere here. Now, left view, Z to zoom. Let's check if we have this in the middle. We can keep the 18 sides. Uh, we just need one height segment. And I will rename this to missile. Random part back. So, uh, this is a part of the detail in the back. So, if we have positioned this right, I want to copy this a uh, few, six, seven times. So, I will affect the pivot to the main missile. So, I will align this to the center of, the, of our shape. Let's click here. And I will rotate this by 45 degrees. We can hit here instance and six, seven, I knew it. Seven copies of that. Now if we go here back, we'll have here this shape. When we have all the eggs so see through to our main model, it looks quite nice there. And it will be I don't know, some kind of joint part there together with this, and it will fill the empty space which we had there. Now uh, one more detail there. It's not done. Like this, it will be looking a bit empty. So uh, I will create again a cylinder. 
like this again it doesn't matter about the size or anything let's take the name of that I will name this the same let's go here I will align this together with our shape now from the top view I will place it just in this axis to the back I will modify this I want to have this a bit more thin I don't know, maybe like this let's pl place, this in, uh, place this in the middle and we'll make it a bit bigger to cover our shapes there now of course we need here a bit more sides if you don't want to use any modifier 36 should be fine so we will have something like this here now you can also do a hole in the middle by not using the cylinder but by using mm, a tube so we can we can try both options and we will see which will be looking better so again I will name it the same part or the same way change the color align to the oops not mirror align to a shape now from the top view first make it a bit thinner like this let's say you like the shape before you can use the same radius outside like we had here so it will be the same size some way uh, can keep it the same there and let's look so we have here now two shapes uh, first of all uh, I will edit them a bit that means that I will convert them to poly one and also the second so uh, I will have some kind of options to decide now I will select just the cylinder I will select the sides <coughs> loop them if we can if not we need to select the poly's control edge now we will apply slightly small chamfer here and we will use a double chamfer ok to make the edges smooth I will do the same here but I will drag this here that you can see what I'm doing so I will select this this and this loop and again just apply a chamfer oops 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 so we can use the same value 007 and 003 now I will place it back now we can go with the top view so first of all uh, I will place this one here now we should decide which one is better so here we go with this shape which is uh, full uh, no space between and it's uh, creating kind of oh, a detail there uh, as you can see it's a bit more interesting between that it uh, looks a bit more mechanic there uh, we will apply small modifier on that just mode should be fine just smooth quite well or if you think it's a bit edgy you can apply also triple mode yeah probably this is better triple mode is better a bit I think one should be enough so this is the first now we'll try also the second and decide what uh, which looks better so now I will drag this to the back will hit this place it here apply also triple smooth on that <coughs> and here we go now I don't see much difference there between them but 
I guess that one with the hole should be a bit better because uh, you can see through and just not filling the space between. So I will keep this one. As you can see, uh, this is a very simple detail. It's hard to say that it's even a detail. It's just a shape, nothing more. But it creates a bit more mechanic look to the shape, and that's what we want to achieve. Okay, so this is the back. Uh, very quick, just a detail there. So, yeah, uh, we just want to fill the space between, and that we did. So that's cool. Okay, now let's go here. Now, what I want to achieve here is to create uh, some kind of <coughs> tubes which will be guiding wires from the sensor part which we have here. This one, which is not saying now, but this will be to see later. And this part here, the middle part, will, where the where will be there some kind of uh, the small missiles or the second part which will be starting after the main part will be somewhere and it doesn't matter <coughs> so uh, just just kind of guides and now uh, how to do them again we will start from a cylinder so I will create a cylinder I don't know how big so far so I have here one We'll cop copy the same name, missile, and I'm part uh, front. Uh, 36, uh, it's too much. Uh, 24, or maybe 18 would be enough here. So we have here this part. Now it's obviously too big, of course. and. I would like to create some kind of mechanism here, which will be here and goes from here there, and there will be some gaps from uh, where the wires will go. So it's of course too big. Now let's go from the top view to align this somehow. We'll place this here. To see. So we can go a bit more with the radius. And it should be two stage. So here will be one part, or somewhere here will be one, here will be the second, and then it will be filled inside. <coughs> so let's look if it's not too big. Uh, it's, don't look so much. Oops. So I'll go with this, I guess. Should be enough small, enough big for the details there. Uh, now about the thickness, of course, uh, it's too big. Okay, now it's better. Uh, everything else is fine. Anyway, we can do this more later. So first of all, uh, let's make a chamfer. Control edge, chamfer, and a small one. Now we'll do an inset. On both sides, so let's do like this and inside like this. Okay, now let's go to the left view. Now I will use something which I never use, but I uh, want to save a bit of time. I will use Boolean for making holes in the here. So I will create again a cylinder. Try to go somewhere in the middle. Oops, my bad. How to create? First of all, we don't have to go any far. And I think like this, it should be fine. 
<coughs> I want here. I think four holes should be enough. So I will go by 0.3 graders here. I'll place it here. Now again from the left view I will align the pilot to the center of our shape. And by 90 degrees I will go three times. Now I will convert this to poly attach these objects together, select my main shape, go to compound objects, click pull and uh, pick this operand here and we are done. Uh, as you can see what happened right now is the way how Max Boolean is working. Uh, of course we can do here two things. First of all we don't have to use Boolean but Pro Boolean which is here and the second of all is that I will select this here just for sure, connect them two times just to create more polys all around on our edges. And let's go back. So we'll just probably in here and we'll do this. So it created uh, this shape here deleted everything which I had there. So nice. Anyway, again, like this, the function is working, which is not actually the best thing which I saw. So now probably you know why I don't use this so much or so. So uh, the problem here is that I lost something in the middle which I really need. Uh, let's say I actually never used this before. We want subtraction, that's, that's fine. Ooh. Now, I think I will lose this at all. So, uh, to not lose this in the middle. I will extrude that a bit. <coughs> I hope now it will preserve. But anyway, uh, copy. Remove. Yeah, it's now preserved. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the boolean function is fine if you really don't need to do anything else with your mesh after. But otherwise, it's not so great like uh, everyone is thinking. Okay, so. I uh, will modify this a bit, so selecting everything here, as we had already, uh, we'll do a chamfer. We'll do a chamfer, but not a big one, of course, and also it would be nice not to have some stuff here. Uh, of course. So uh, I need to use some cut. Cut things here. Now, uh, really, you have to understand why I'm never using this kind of stuff. I could do this also. Absolutely different. Oops. And I will have the same result. But no. Okay, anyway, uh, I will try to do this very fast. We'll do this, of course, just from one side. Strange. And then I will copy the other side. So I will slice this into two halves and do it like that. So and now I'm creating the stuff which uh, for some reason should probably on function deleted. 
maybe I just press something wrong. I don't know. Okay, now delete it. Set to zoom on that. So something similar we should have also from the other side. But anyway, now we'll do the chamfer here. So loop loop is not working. How is this possible? <coughs> so I think this is the last time when I used this function. Uh, can do something like this. Just to save time, the same like when we selecting the upper poly, just select the sides to select uh, everything here. So. Okay. 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 Uh, this like this perspective, and let's see the chamfer. Can apply here double chamfer. As you can see now, the chamfer is working as it should, like before. So we have here double chamfer. Now we'll do a bit more connections between. Oh, more cuts between the shapes just to not create any fragments after we will use modifier like Trubus motor so so I'm creating here a nice spider spider grid um, oh that's more, more than strange here on around so very fast, very quick. We'll connect these and these with each other. And one more time, you don't have to follow me absolutely in these parts. Okay, now left to zoom, perspective and Z. What I can, yeah, I have to, how is this possible that I always select something, but I don't have to, but I do. So what I did here um, <coughs> is probably that I just transferred a bit too much. So I'll do a straight cut here. Here, and I will think what I did. Uh, don't worry about that, it will disappear in a moment. One more card. It's fascinating what you can do when you don't keep attention for a minute. So we don't need this, this, this. That means also this here. This was a bit too much. Third world. This one there. And let's do a cut. Yeah, I, I knew I did it two times. Now, this is horrible. I even have no idea when I was so lucky to create this. Okay, 
let's go a few steps back. Oops. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry for that. <coughs> I really, I have no idea. Oh, when, when I did this there, but anyway, just to practice some fixing, it's fine, always fine. Okay, again, well, let's delete everything what we don't need. So, first, edges, then, <coughs> then the words, or you will lose something. <clears throat> okay, uh, so this is the one half. Let's select this ring connect from the front view. I hope I will delete the right one. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so uh, I will affect the power center because otherwise the mirror should shouldn't work. We'll do a mirror of that copy. Will attach the cheddar and I will select. I will try to select just the middle words here. You can do it also like that and apply the smallest weld. We should weld this together. Okay, so now everything should be fine. I hope so. Forgot. Of course the looping now here is not working, but I think we can do here something. So control after serving these edges, control poly and control edge. From the front view, we deselect this and this. And from perspective view, I really hope be working, we'll apply chamfer. Apply again. Oh, now here we'll apply just one chamfer. So, with this, now I see we have here holes. I'll bridge the holes. We don't want that. So again, uh, if you think a boolean is a fine thing, it's not. So really, I don't see the much use with the modifier. I never saw to just destroy your shape. And I was stunning this all the time by all the tutorials because I knew. So I don't know why I used it here anyway. So let's quick bridge this. Bridge. So okay, uh, the holders uh, should be fine. We can apply turbo smooth on that. Even that, if to use turbo smooth here, it's a wise thing or not. It would be anyway too small to see there anything. But if you want to have it. Very, very smooth. It's enough from the distance to have it smooth like that. Okay, the smooth modifier is not working here much. Maybe because the rest mode is beneath that. Uh, <coughs> you can use that or that. Ah, but I think we can also use this one. By the one, uh, we have there just some kind of this. But I think applying about this to smooth. Oh, it's not much helping there. Okay, anyway. Mm. Anyway, we can use either that or this. One of them is smoothing something better than the other. Anyway, we will not do close shots from there. But I think the triple smooth here, like this, should be working fine. Okay, so finally we have this. And now. Let's go to the top view with that. And let's see. Oops. Like that. So 
So let's say one will be here, second will be somewhere here. We can do them also like this. So here it should be. Oh, would be. So we'll attach this together. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, this is a very, very bad thing which I did. Whew. Okay, so these two are together. Now select this and this. Bridge four. Of course, we don't need this or this. Loop, backspace, and also backspace to the words. Now, uh, we can move this, just move somewhere here and this here. <coughs> now, all text to the not our shape here, but to the main shape. On this side, uh, we'll do a connection. We'll do a connect, which will move somewhere here. And one more time, somewhere here. Now we'll select this edge. Ink, control poly, and extrude by local normal. Let's go by zero there, like that. Select this and this. Loop, chamfer. Apply one more time. And also this. Here we'll go with a small. Yep. So, <coughs> just something like uh, it really goes from the shape. <coughs> yeah. So uh, this is that, and something similar we could go, uh, we could do also here, but here is a bit problem because we'll be rotating this, but the shape is the same everywhere. But if we also rotate them all or not. Oh, it will be not working, I believe. So on this side, I will not create anything so far. So uh, the reason is very simple. Well, let's go to the left view. We'll align the pilot again to our main shape. If you rotate it even a bit. Uh, it looks like it rotates, but it shouldn't actually. But it is. Ah, oh, maybe I'm crazy already. So we can use also some kind of detail there. Good to know. Anyway, uh, select a model one more time. So like this, uh, you can see to place this kind of small, nice stuff. Which are looking usually very very nice. Can place all the time anywhere. So as you can see oops. Now we need we need this one here, but I think it will be a kind of problem. And we are also copying the shape. No, no, no not. Um, probably a bit my bad. <coughs> I think actually here by connect. No, it's not. I thought there is some kind of <coughs> updating the shape, but it's. Okay, anyway, uh, we'll create it like this. Oops. Let's go to view. Let's go a bit back with that.
Ring that one more time. Connect. Move this to the back. Ring. Poly. Extrude. Can go something smaller here. And we'll just chamfer the edges and we will be done. Loop. Chamfer. So okay, uh, we have this one here. <coughs> now one more thing which we will do there is we'll move this here. We'll take a screw from there, 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 there. Doesn't matter. Hold on, shift. Place it here. We'll just copy that. It should be now unique already. We'll affect the power to center of that just to be able to move and manipulate with that a bit better. From the top view, you can move it here. You can also reset everything to the normal. From the top view, you can manipulate a bit more. And now, left view, rotate by 90 degrees. Let's say also in this axis. Now in perspective, just to be sure we're doing it all. <coughs> we'll make a tiny small screw. Place it here on the shape. Mm, left view one more time. Somewhere in the middle. And we'll place it like this. So again, to make details, uh, details to details, it always makes fun. We'll do the same here. <coughs> now we'll uh, copy that. Uh, copy group. Now rotate. Ungroup and uh, move also from the other side, of course. Hold on, shift, move it also here. Okay. Uh, so, a bit more detail to the detail. Now, let's go to the left view. I think I will group this also. <coughs> I will just call it the temp because uh, I will place it back here, of course. Uh, I think it was somewhere here. But uh, I will also copy that a bit later. But also. Uh, there is no need to ungroup it right now, after I will just copy that all over the shape, I will do that. So, uh, now the wire is there, of course, I almost forgot, no I not, but I'm just making... So, uh, for the wires we'll use line. Now, from the top view, I know that, without auto grid of course, the line should go somewhere like this. I'm making just some kind of micro bendings there. It will be not absolutely straight. We'll turn this off and probably hit here uh, all the X. Move this up, <coughs> up or down, doesn't matter. Let's say here, somewhere in the middle. Now, from the front view, I will again just uh, 
really not much, just a bit. Do the bending steer in three axis. So control A on all, make them smooth. There is not much to make smooth, of course. Now we'll make a render of that. Go to perspective. We'll make it I don't know big like this. Should be fine. <coughs> Maybe a big as like let's go by zero three. This should be fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's convert this to poly. Hit this one here, and we need here more sides, and I would say a lot of sides. Now, select this, delete, and also this. Let's go to the front view and delete also the words. <coughs> and now I want spaces like I have here. So let's connect. Let's say like this. Oh, the same. Oops. Here it would be too much, so let's go just by two. And here the same. Now select this ring loop extrude. Oh, very uh, very nice three steps. And we will do a shape like this. Now ring chamfer. Oops. And about this, we will apply triple smooth. <coughs> oh, sorry for that. So, in perspective, oops, is it to zoom? We'll have a shape. Uh, yeah, here it's here it will be some kind of mass. Oops, not the object, this one. So uh, here we can just select it like that. Thus, we don't need so much, of course. Police everywhere. Am I right? So we created here a shape. Uh, it looks a bit like a protection tube for that. So you're not, it's not absolutely straight, but it has some shape. Of course, uh, you can also a bit modify that if you want. If not, you can keep the same like I have. So <coughs> now we are going to finish. So I will copy this. I will copy this, I will wire, call this wire now, from the top view, go here, I will hit here instance, I guess, and the holes should be somewhere here, yep, and also this instance. Now I will group together this group. <coughs> now from the left view uh, I will align them. My bad. Click the pie button then align. Okay. Probably better first of all would be to place this somewhere in the middle of that. It's a bit more logical than first rotate and then look. So let's say like this. One more time, left view, effect the pivot, align to the main shape. Okay. I'm holding down shift. 
we go 90, we'll just go copy three times. <coughs> Now, I'll select everything like that, ungroup, ungroup, and we are done. Well, maybe, probably had to, well, I have to apply triple smooth on that also. And one more time. Okay, so uh, we go with the connection between the parts, some kind of wire connection, or mm, I don't know, some kind of detail which we have <coughs> right now, again, in the shape like we did uh, before. And we will unhide all, and this is also that. So, uh, <coughs> if you don't like that, uh, if you think it should be different or anything, uh, you don't have, you can delete it very fast without any effort. But if you like it, like I do, makes there some kind of more detailed surface there, you know that there is something which does something and we could also make a bit more of them but I think probably one, two, maybe four, just three will be enough, maybe four is too much, maybe it's less, it's up to you. So anyway, e you don't have to keep that, you even didn't have to follow me, but I hope you liked that we created here this detail and also this and you saw also the troubles with pool one, anyway. Anyway, I hope you liked. So this is the end of the first part. That means that the main model is done. Maybe, but really maybe we will do later a bit adjustments there. But I'm not sure. And in the next part, which would be I don't know, if again three four parts, we'll do the middle part. So all stuff here inside with the small rockets. And then in the third part, one more time, we will do the textures. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.